definitely be a concern as well. Um, Mm -hmm. So again, I appreciate that they've put all this information on the page, um, you know, talking about how, how it's safeguarded and, um, and stuff like that. So it's kind of a good, good information to have. I don't think you can ever be sure that the company's doing everything they can, but at least they've included some info there. Um, right. Then I see this become a member button. I would think that would probably be a place to go more about the pricing on that. Yep. Um, perfect. Okay, so. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this page. So it looks like two different kind of options for them chip. Um, there's the, you know, that um, the initial blood draw, the member relationship manager, genetic testing, genetic counseling, processing material. And there's, um, well, oh no, actually, I think I'm reading it wrong. I think this is a one-time fee that Mm -hmm. kind of gets you started in the program. And then this is the annual fee because every year you're doing, um, you know, you're getting another blood draw and another screening and you have this relationship manager. So it's um, like, yeah, it's like an initiation fee and then an annual fee. Um, Was that clear to you off the bat or took some reading? um, It, it took a few seconds to realize that um, because it kind of, the first thing I see when I see, okay, there's two things at two different prices is first thing I'm thinking is, Oh, there's two membership options here. Yes. Um, So that's, that's not the case, but that's kind of the first thing I thought. So maybe interesting, maybe it could be made a little bit more clear, but I think once you see this, it's not, it's not that unclear. Um, Yeah. And yeah, I mean, the, the prices are, prices are pretty high. Um, you know, you're talking about spending $850 up front and then $250 every year after that. Yeah. Um, especially that kind of startup cost feels really high. Um, so I, it's also unclear whether, I mean, down here it says, they're FSA or HSA eligible. Um, I don't know. I would definitely want to know, like, if insurance would cover something like this or part of it. Okay. Um, I mean, it seems like maybe they would since it's, you know, obviously health related, but I'm not sure. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if there's really information about that on here. Maybe it was in the FAQs, but that's mm-hmm. something I would want to have addressed. Um, and, but yeah, overall, my thoughts are just, it's way higher than I would have expected it to be. Okay. And it kind of turns me off from the service. Um, I mean, I was expecting maybe something more like a hundred or $150 a year. And I wasn't really expecting this like crazy high startup fee either. So, um, yeah, it's just way more expensive than what I thought it would be. And do you feel like you need any more information besides obviously the insurance um, aspect of it on this price page here? Anything else you're wondering? Um, I mean, I think, I think if you've read kind of the rest of the site and have an idea of what services are being offered here, like I think these bullet points do a pretty good job of kind of summarizing like what you actually get like initially okay, and then everything great. going forward. So not really. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, so now that you've kind of taken me through how you would navigate the website, I would love to dive deeper into some of these sections here and really get your opinions on, you know, 
services. So if you could go back up to the top here. Okay. Um, and we already went through the Good Sale homepage. If you can click on how it works at the top, that would be great. Yeah. And before we dive into this, you know, what is your initial impression of Good Sell so far? Just from navigating, you know, how you would do this website. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like a really cool product. I like the fact that it, um, you know, it kind of is focused on not just current health, but also health and um, just let you know what you might to what you might be predisposed to and might be able to do to kind of mitigate those risks. I think mm-hmm. there's a lot of, um, you know, it seems pretty well thought out and all the different kinds of testing and the cell storage. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it is, it's a very, product. it feels, very, um, it feels very premium um, okay. and probably out of reach of a lot of consumers. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Great. So now that we are on this how it works section here, um, I'll give you a quick second to read through, you know, a little a little deeper into their services here. So I'd love if you could read this section here and then I'll ask you some questions and we can scroll on down to some more information. Okay, so just the first section for now or uh yes, just to take a quick glance over this. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So anything come to mind here? You know, anything stand out to you as you're reading through this? Um, I guess the sentence about facilitating important conversations with healthcare providers. Um, I guess that's another kind of question I have is like, how does, how does this um, service like interface with my primary care doctor or other doctors I may see like this doesn't seem like a replacement for a primary care physician, um, yeah. but it's more of like an add-on. And um, I'm just kind of wondering, I guess you, ha- you have your representative through GoodSell, and is that person going to be the one who's kind of, you know, explaining the results of the test to your doctor, or is that kind of up to you? Um, it seems like... Um, you know, and doctors order their own kind of testing too. Um, is that not going to be necessary now because I have this or are they going to still want to test for other things? So I guess, yeah, I just want to know more about how this service um, interacts with a you know doctor I already may be working with. Yeah. Yes, understood. Great. Um, so you can keep scrolling on down here. I'll let you, yep. So this is good sales week by week process here. I know you quickly glanced over this when you scrolled through the first time. But mm-hmm. if you want to dive more in depth here, I would love your, you know, opinions on yeah. this week by week process. Anything jump out at you going through that section there? Um, I guess I'll just what, so, you know, you're scheduling a blood draw at these like quest diagnostic places, yes. which, um, you know, are the same kind of um, facilities that my doctor might have me get a blood. 